That must have been Oliver. That is right. You go Saudi Arabia, go check on official the Arsenal game. Who were employing and owners of Manchester City? Now they employ them to go uh, to go officiate those games. You can't still come again, call the bluff whistle for those who pay you money as a coach. Nobody knows what happened in general. We don't know now only gossip here. Yes. And most of these gossip are lie. But good example too, Arsenal man at Teta. When Arsenal lose against Lens, press conference. I love my players. That one I own uh, opinion. Your, your father opinion. You know, yes, yes. Is that right? <laughs> Hello to my people and welcome once again to Football Mede Mede Podcast. And of course, my name is Jovita A.K. As usual, I carry people joy body. I carry man and latter, of course, on Okala Onyebuchi. And uh, together, we'll go run this one right here. Una, welcome. Jovita, you look good. Oh, thank you. I like your scarf. Oh, wow. And your hair. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Emmanuel, <laughs> make we start with you. The one we'll be saying concerning the English Premier League are uh, so far so good. The league don't start, and of course, they don't play like eight games so far now. But then, what would be your take on the situation of things, especially on top of the table? Tottenham, right now, even though they say they did the same point with Arsenal, uh, they top the table. Yeah, um, now them I really want to talk about. They, they, um, they don't really, really impress me so far for this season, um, despite the fact that the, the coach where they get right now and a new guy to the game, but he keep focus and in the short years, um, despite the fact that um, they lose one of their bungest star player to Bayern Munich, um, Harry Kane, uh, they know that one will distract them at all. They keep their own game open. They, Get all the three points where they did, where they really need their last game now. Uh, before the their last game now, wait to lose in town. They win one zero against all old with one man down. You could tell you the kind team who don't prepare for this season as it stands. So, it, 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 I get that belief. See, Tottenham Hotspur will be that team where we will make the top four at the end of this campaign. And some of the Ubonga big boys for the EPL, they are clean big boys. One of them will suffer, maybe between Manchester United. Chelsea, one of them like that. But I know say Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool, they will make top four. <laughs> All right, Buchi, make I come to you. Uh, this man they call post Koglu. Since we say you don't take over sports, sports don't they look like a more attacking side? And apart from that one, they don't be like people who say one challenge for the title. How you see? I, I don't believe they go challenge for the title, but I believe they will qualify for Europe. Hmm. Um, Andrew Post Koglu is a fantastic man manager, fantastic coach. You need to watch in press conference. To understand the ideologies of this man, it go hard for you not to like the man because the man, a man of honor, man of mm. respect, and not be like Jose Mourinho. Nobody like gra 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 gra. But he came, he came with the calm, and when he come, they lose Harry Kane, but he come make them more of a team. They play like a unit right now. Make some small small changes. Assign uh, that Mickey Van Der Ven boy. That boy they play for defense. Mm. They rest some big boy Eric Diaz down on bench. Never start game this season. Perry Hoffman, you start game this season with Totia Motspo. These are two of their biggest players. A boy promotes some players like Pape Matasa, good player, and also Bisoma, who they get in best season with Totia Motspo, not come since. So, him now, good coach. You go see a good coach, a team that is well trained, a team with trust in their manager. They're not going to win league. It's show me, but at least top four should be their priority. You feel, say, so sports go fit, hold on to this top position until uh, December. It, that one could be very difficult because um, um, teams they also they try to come back from the mistakes they don't make in the past as they not did that position like people they face that number one and two position at their bet right teams like uh, Man City we know the Man City now they suffer from injury um, um, some of their bunge players they won injury and I believe since when those those players come back and they could they win some of their matches it could be very difficult for sports to stay there and again Arsenal. As now, even like they never really balance, they still get injury worries, mm. but they still mm. the win. So, imagine if those players come back, Mikel Ateta can get options, they don't they blend. Teams will take them over eight years to beat them for their own home. Man City at the weekend, they beat them 1 0. The confidence on the compact, they don't they look like team where we we'll, we'll no go like put our fans for the kind of predicament open them for the last season again. We we'll need to win match matches to make sure years will day up there. You understand? So you go hard for sports to the number one. Mark we talk about defending champion Man City. We don't see some kind of mixed results so far. They don't lose back to back uh, matches uh, for the past uh, almost a, a week now. They don't lose back to back, lose against Wolverham two hundred, lose against Arsenal. Lose and against of Newcastle course, ex for exactly news exactly. Mm -hmm. And this one now now worrying thing for Pep Guard. Diola, you feel say the absence of Rodri and especially Kevin De Bruyne follow join this one, or you feel say Man City don't they lose that grip on the title? <laughs> Jovita, only a fool hmm. without Pep Guardiola. Hmm. 
Ole fool. Like a big concrete fool. Every team they get their own struggles. The good thing about Pep is say in team they already struggle early in the season. If you observe, their struggles they come early, middle, then they struggle at the end. You know what's up. And don't forget, they lose one of their best players in Ikai Godogan. We go Barcelona. They don't lose some very good players. Riyad Mahrez too, don't know be regular too, but one of their leaders mm -hmm. too. And if you take, like you said, Rodri come up for the match, that are one of the reasons why they lose. They go feel this they one of the reasons. Say, I can never doubt a Pep Guardiola. Mm -hmm. That struggles, it happened to every, every team. The earlier you struggle, the better. That hour they are pissed after they win, they struggle small, small now. You wouldn't say Arsenal they win, you go to see Arsenal they struggle small, small. Mm. You better say you struggle early, see your mistakes, and fix it towards the end. Never doubt Pep Guardiola. If you doubt Pep Guardiola, let me say, he's not the one for the first time. That man can never. Ellen Brutalan now, for like two, three games now, bros, they shoot blank. In fact, against Arsenal, no single shot on goal from mm. Ellen Brutalan. Even for Champions League against the Leipzig, you know, score anyone. Um, the reason no. You go understand with me. They, if you give them excuse, maybe the man with the supply and the pass, every day, brother, they out of uh, the games where they don't play so far. So maybe the midfield, that set up, they do well enough. I don't understand that. But that doesn't mean they need to score. They get another one striker in Julian Alvarez where the score goes for them. But, and again, you go say for premiership, it is very hard for a striker to be consistent back to back. Successfully, like you do this season, do next season. They go don't study you. Income last season with fire, everything. People don't understand who be this kind of guy, you know, with the win ball. Now people don't know how to mark him. They don't study him. You understand? You see, if you watch that game against um, Asna, you see waiting William Saliba and uh, Gabriel Malaj Dwam. They pocket them. You understand? You go no see, yes. You bless you, they don't go study how to mark this guy. So the same way other five and six, five and six for other teams, they go study him. Until maybe Pep Guardiola, not tactician, he will try to bring another method on how the guy will feed the function again as the top nine. And more could you look at Arsenal, Bukayo Saka out for the Gunners and even out from international duties for England. But then, how important Bukayo Saka day to Arsenal and of course their Waka from now go reach December? 100% Saka for me, the most important Arsenal player. Everybody the important. Mm. One the important uh, because say him, uh, one of the most consistent players. And for us now, this time first game when they miss like it is something games. Now me saying fitness you start to take good. And when Sakata the pitch, you go know when Sakata the pitch because the boy know they stop. He keeps trying, he keeps mm. trying, he keeps trying. So Saka, very important. Now why you get team like I like the words of Gabriel. He's when he talks say in the play from the wings because the Arsenal get injury issues. When one player come out, another player enter. Good example the game against Everton where Martinelli get injury. Mm. Those that enter score. Mm. Yeah. Against City, those that get injury, Martinelli enter score. They say one person come out, and that person go use that they enter. That now why you get big squad. Saka is a talented, as in one of the best wingers in the world. And the good thing about Saka be say if you look in character, you look in attitude. This that guy without the doubt, you know, see or more with the way way in they go in direction they straight to greatness because the boy they very very humble and a nice person. And still on Arsenal, they never lose any game, just like Tottenham Hotspur this season. I think they'll be the only two teams who never... Premier I mean, League, for Premier lose. League. Uh, they never lose any game, just like Tottenham Hotspur. You feel say they fit, they're this consistent. I think they need to learn from last season. And I believe, say, I think they don't learn from last season. Hmm. That's not why him know they win the rush or won't think about tapping table. That's not why him buy one of the most important... People don't understand the importance of declaring rights for Arsenal. People don't really understand what that guy is coming to do at Arsenal. That guy don't give Arsenal the advantage they need against smaller teams because smaller teams, they bully Arsenal if Arsenal no hold the ball. Hmm. This boy no really care whether he hold the ball or not. He's a bully of an attacker. They ask her one question after the match, say, Afa, why are you so good at Arsenal? He said, the same thing that they do for West Ham. How they do for Arsenal. But the Arsenal probably say, they're technically different. So Arsenal don't learn. So I don't believe that they'll make that kind of mistake when they do last season. So can't tell me good to fail. Failure is bad. But if you don't fail, you don't go learn. The problem with failing is that when you fail, are you there proud of your failure? Mm. You don't admit, say, you messed up last season. You look yourself, say, oh, more. He gets to come to him, say, I won't do it. He say, I don't do You don't learn. So I don't believe, say, Arsenal. I don't want to talk about the league right now. Sex has just eight games to play. We still get 30 more games to go. True. 30. True. So if they look top of the table, no, especially Arsenal fans. Last year was the worst. We looked at, <laughs> they're top, 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 top. Oh. 
Um, uh, but then, if you're the in club and Liverpool, mm. it gets as their season don't be. Mm. And as I talk of you're in club and Liverpool, I go also roping sports and of course VAR controversy so far since the beginning of this season. Don't forget, say last season, a lot of teams also suffered. But come be like say this season, this Liverpool oh, can't they make the whole referee association for inside England can't gather, they find solution. Your head club say make them replay game. But for some, they say it no go make sense. But now the man whether they call Howard Webb don't come out to talk, say they it be like saying they day too fast anytime we then check VAR. Say so be like say, even if they don't make that decision, then go fit still make another one with it overrule VAR decision. Waiting be the solution because right now Liverpool don't suffer. In fact, I just suffer the biggest one. We make everybody come to talk. But Liverpool season so far. How you go put them? Then VAR controversy. I, I feel say football, um, the the the, the Engl English football, the in the introduction of VR technology, it did reduce the vibe of football as a sport. Until I just feel because you see football the football they better than the nineties. You understand towards the early two thousand, what is VR no day? But, uh, but when see, they no day, then they rub it out to paper. Wait now, you they see the real thing. Now even when you did not, they, they rub. Yeah, last they season, rub that. last season there are some teams where they suffer from mm. this VR wala. Teams mm. like Arsenal, yeah, they suffer. Even earlier you this season, earlier this season, so Nottingham Forest against teams, Man U. Teams like Chelsea suffer last season because mm. of some kind of costly mistakes. West Ham suffer. You understand? Now you get some teams where English Premier League organizers you do. Where it did to the obvious, not be everything. Technology in a man make them fine. You understand? It, they all right to consult VR, fine. But like taking the decision where you don't consult the VR as your own referee, as you be referee, what it be your instinct? Make your point you understand? Now. What it be? What it be? What it be? Uh, um, the the essence of rushing to take decision. So me, I feel say um, the VR uh, input for 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 the league for this season so far after eight games it too they be too much maybe maybe they could try to do something where um sometimes to rush take decision after they shake the vr camera you you agree with howard webb say even after vr are don't shake they still fit reverse the decision of replace hmm. they don't bond their way they don't bond your papa way that was the good play every game now. No, I mean when in talk say the when they don't the take game. the decision on top of the field of play, like now something happened, they take decision on uh, I mean VAR take decision. They say they fist still reverse the that decision. decision. Those with the then why use VAR? Uh, now me say they, 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 they come out to say their referees are irresponsible. Hmm. Then they come out to indict yourself. Because if you be referee, but you get video evidence, you see them. And you go against what you see. You feel say that, that say, they are they check, then they too fast to make that conclusion. Should if, one minute. If referee day on the pitch, make it shown in ten seconds. Give red card, give yellow card, give goals. Why you go this slow to check machine? You know they had. It's easy. At least what's come to us. One minute we go understand, especially if not be called. I remember it's not every call via they make. Oh, mm. that's some specific calls. Now, if you they make, they don't take all the power to come up with the referee. The referee still gets some power to they say they do. He gets some, this is the referee go call. If you are not going to be involved at all, we are going to respect yourself. If you are already comes in with the crucial and most important calls, why would they see this while for England? Because the mistakes keep on happening consistently. Since 2019, it keeps on happening. They say one thing they happen now, insanity is repeating the same thing and expecting different results. It makes no sense. You they punish this club. This club, they put in their heart and they are showing winning points. And you go, say, you it's not fair. It's wickedness. Hmm. And again, this is what say you punish them. One, two games, you punish them. Sack them. Hmm. Chase them away. If players, they get public uh, 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 jury. We don't need to the player. Let's know what's happening with this referee too. Hold this res accountable. Hold them responsible. They are killing and spoiling the game. It's not fair. Apologies changes nothing. Like you talk last season, Arsenal. I brought Arsenal two times. Arsenal lose the league by five points. Yeah. It's Arsenal gets Arsenal for win the league. Are you kidding me? Who go down? Which club? One club go down uh, for Premier League because if you make the wrong call. On the last day of the Leicester season. City. Because we are making the wrong call as a club relegate. Can you tell me about the play? Well, club relegate. I like to think pep talk. Chest up, it'll move on. 
but something needs to happen to these referees in England. Why always England? That is the question. Why always England? Did they make mistakes for Italy, for Spain? No. Did they make that mistake? But now once, once. Once, once. Let's expect it. But in England, it's every damn week. I, I, feel, I feel the uh, reason is, is marketing. Football in England is more of marketing than... Talking about uh, uh, referees in England, we mm. hear, say, Darren England and the other guy, will be say, officiate that particular match, being go United Arab Emirates. Yes, and the plane has gone hours flight. Go and come... Come, uh, come join the team we officiate that game between Spurs and Liverpool. Should English referees be travel, traveling now to officiate that game? So, it should not be. Should they be allowed to go out when they know so they get game, especially when they're close to the weekend? That must be go Oliver. That is what. You go Saudi Arabia, go officiate, come officiate the Arsenal game. Put where employer and owners of Manchester City. Now they employ them to go uh, to go officiate those games. You can't still come again, come they bluff whistle for those who pay you money. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, that one are your own uh, opinion. Uh, it's, you, it's, it's, the truth is, your father opinion. You know, yes, yes. Is that right? I got the tossing football for England and marketing. Mm. And if they do marketing, what you what you want again? Not be to you make money. You stole his opinion. This is my opinion. You understand? This so why you go cut off? You stole this idea from me because I'm talking to you every day. You know, get you can't. You know, get that motherfucker. Football for England and marketing. That's what people say every time. Football for my England. I don't say this marketing too much. Compared to Spain. Compared to Italy, compared to uh, uh, other other European, uh, even Germany, you understand? Mm -hmm. So you suppose understand the idea. If you go to England, you understand. For some people, for some of us, have been to England. You understand? Yeah. They don't well, really get anything. England. You understand? I don't tell you to argue. Them. They never really get anything. The only thing where it make England, what it keep England there as a country. Now say they get educational structure. You understand? Yeah, and no. they, so for football. That that area of sports to them is marketing, and they generate income to the economy. So using the referee, say referee, one of their referees, they Saudi go officiate a, a league. They come back. It and is, they pay them more. They, they, they pay, pay them in the Premier League. Yes, they pay them more because I want to go collect. Don't, don't forget a certain Side percentage. Puzzle. Yeah, certain percentage. Mm. They go to their own referees as, uh, association. So now the best of the best that they use for the league, and in the need to generate money. So until we understand that, we no go just the here, the kill ourselves or being emotional about it. All right, Mark we sharply on top injury we'll worries. How yeah. injury worries go take impact the title chase this season? Because we don't see injury worries for Chelsea. The only thing we no get wound John, I wolves to wonders. They they, they be wolves now, <laughs> but sexy. That's why that's why players they come. See, I think FIFA and the rest are not being fair to these footballers. As an average football fan, I want to see ball play every week. I want to see ball every weekend. Midweek self, but some kind of time is not fair. If you observe, most of the injuries that happen right now are hamstring injuries. Yeah. Most are hamstring. You get hamstring injury when you don't walk where where. When your muscle are kind of getting weak. That now why it is weak or it is tear. These players are human. I think it's the first time in a long time we get so many so injuries. Many. And Nigeria Chelsea, matches for Man City. U, City, Everybody. Arsenal. Every big club, they get big injury. Not be coincidence. Mm. These players are playing too much. That now why I support that I've ever run. When they list that statement, when they talk, they go, they add like six or seven more minutes for every game. Why? Why? These are players. Protect your players. That last next season, they're going to talk that. Players or uh, clubs of Europe could they play more games? Yeah. Why are you adding more games to these footballers when you really they protect them properly? It is not fair. And you they give cap to a number of players. So say club go fee sign. You they want the club say okay, no sign, no get enough squad do you get more go for your bench too, and you still want them to play more football. These players are humans at the end of the day. And more injury is getting worse. International break yeah. right now. Yes. Players are going to international break. Yeah. Saka, what did they get? Saka, what did no, Sorry. What did they get injury? He's injured. It's weird when you see some players getting injury. It's actually very, very weird. Like, at the end of the day, but it'll be fired out. Well, I, I feel, say, um, coaches should also learn to rotate their squad perfectly because um, you get some players, say, you go, ah, this player did this club. For, for instance, in England, there are some the top four teams they play more than four or five competitions in a season right now. So I but feel every say, point is important. Every point is important. Now you get some league games where you go consider those players where they put for bench. You understand? You don't go expect a player where play Champions League on Wednesday. You understand? Now, for instance, Newcastle play Champions League on a Wednesday. They can't play now the following weekend. 
that weekend on Sunday or Saturday that they play maybe Nottingham Forest or something because the point is important. You know why you get, get players where they are bench when you play the Champions League. Why not just rotate them? Instead of you to start the play, so those things and are. Also, bear in mind, say everybody they push you for three, four trophies. You know, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, what is the essence of you having 35, 40 players? Hmm. When well, you register, who the players? You understand? You know who the players? Who the players? Who the players? Who the players? You register 35 players for a season. You're 30 players for a season. No, you can't get 35. You understand? And then you're not using. Who the players? players? Let me talk now. You're lying. No, this is what I'm getting. You're lying. All right. Who the players? Okay, how many players? How many players are you kidding me? How many players are you kidding me? Premier League. Right. Make we check 25. the fixtures um, after the international breaks and of Olo course Olo. Uh, the table as it takes stand before this players. international break where we say we don't enter. So we we'll just sharply check the fixtures and of course the tables first and of course the fixtures. So we don't see the tables how they take stand after eight games. Uh, ah, now, so they take uh, stand. Uh, uh, Manchester, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. 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 No leave, no transfer. They still there where they end. And of course, the say? bottom three: Burnley, Bournemouth, and of course Sheffield uh, United. Mm. But I say at least the two of them. Just the eleven points. <laughs> the <laughs> I don't know. I'm surprised. <laughs> at least they don't. They pick up small, small. Oh. And of course, the fixtures right after uh, the international uh, break. The way we say uh, then go take play as well. We go sharply uh, bring that one also. Uh, Saturday, twenty first of October. That's <laughs> after the international break. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. We don't see big matches go happen. Chelsea go welcome Arsenal for Stamford Bridge. Uh, Chapel Liverpool Everton. Uh, uh, draw. Bournemouth Wolves. Uh, Wolves to win. Brentford Burnley. Burnley go win. Man City Brighton. Draw. Newcastle Crystal Palace. Um, Newcastle to win. Nottingham Forest Luton. Okay. Nottingham Forest. Chelsea win. Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> Can I have a Chelsea, 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 Chelsea to win. Can I have a Saturday? Chelsea United, Man United. Man United to win. Aston Villa West Ham. That one will be very big game too. Very big game. That's a Monday. That's a Sunday. Yes. Yes. All these games, like, only one game on Sunday. Yes, and, and only one game on Monday as well. Okay. Sports Fulham. Sports they on fire right now, but mm. then Fulham can always pull a surprise. All right, now so the fixtures after, right after the international Liverpool break, to win. And I saw he go take B. <laughs> now you wake up. No, no, Liverpool to win. <laughs> Liverpool to win. It's a derby to... game. It's a derby game. Yeah, yes. but Liverpool to yes. win based on the final yeah, four. Let's one, one. Derby. Yeah. All right, on top of that one, make we uh, sharply. Um, God, one will consign Mikel OB, and of course, waiting to talk concerning the way with Ten Hag. I take three the guy where they call uh Jaden Sancho. Uh, Mikel believes say the bro suppose you know handle that matter in a different way. Say, if now Alex Ferguson he go handle and privately, but then I want to ask, share Jaden Sancho do bad to speak out. No, you know, do bad. I think he's speaking mind. The guy, a talented player, he want to play. And I feel, say, um, um, the, um, Eric Ten Hag, no see, maybe in the, the guy playing pattern, or you know, they talented enough to his own opinion. So they try to put him on bench, they try. So I feel, say, um, Sancho speaking mind, whether I like it or not. Personally, if you say Sancho, the likes of Fifodin, the likes of Missing Mount, all of them, they did the same class. They did, very, they did potentials where, in if consistently they play every time they mm -hmm. go improve but if you if they put them for bench for the likes of Anthony and 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 Marcia and the rest you understand so I feel see the guy got speaking mind as a footballer you get right to talk your mind you feel everything had throw him under the bus yes hmm. yeah, because I believe see, as a coach you have to defend your players publicly and criticize them internally hmm. note these footballers are not children. They are matured, married men. They are men who they provide. Some players, they mess up quite all right. They get contact with say, you go day over the moon. They have to defend yourself. But not every time. Eric Tayang, we don't see this thing happen too much. He like, could they play three years? Look at this last weekend when they asked him, why remove Casemiro? See what he talk? Say, I want to play more football. Indirectly, we think I went to say, okay, Casemiro, they play, you know, they play well. We know, the fans know. So you can see me have been messing up for weeks. But you, the job of a coach, you need to like get this player's trust. Mm. Now he keeps on doing it. David Egea, Ronaldo, Sancho, the rest. I'm not saying Sancho is a cent. He don't give Sancho a chance. Sancho don't mess up on a chance. Like, he don't enter a head. But I guess a kind of time, you need to protect your players as a coach. Nobody knows what's happening internally. We don't know. Now, let's gossip with the year. Yeah, yeah. And most of these gossip, most of them are lie. 
We don't know what they happen. That's not why you be the coach. That's not why you get the authority. That's not why they make you get final. That's not why you can sign and unsign players. You need to protect your players. I like you to compare, but good example too. Arsenal match Ateta. When Arsenal lose against Lens, press conference. In come to say, I love my players. Arsenal win. I love my players. Georgio make mistakes. He said Georgio not world class players. But for inside, is a beast. In go Cristiano, say you mess up, you fuck up here. But for outside, I will defend you because you I want to get piece. your trust. Mm. Your trust. And it's there, obvious say he not get the trust of a lot of Manchester United players. It's there very, very obvious. If you say, don't they lose the dressing room? He don't lose them already. No matter of mm. time, mm. 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 players can gather and sack you. Mm. And matter of time, Eric Tiang, I believe so. Maybe because they scored the score, Mark told me they won the resurrecting career. That's not why you enter. If you look, observe where players come the first. Why this idiot go score now? <laughs> <laughs> why this idiot go score? They have to sack this man. But Eric Tiang, nah, he, he they run United like a military cantonment. Yo, you know, get that power. Some coaches don't build their CV. Mm. Coaches like Pep Guardiola, mm. Jose Mourinho, those guys, they don't win. They are well respected. They can come out and run their club as a military cantonment because they are well respected, well appreciated. Eric Tayang, no apologies to him, no insult to him. He's 53 years old. I know him because in the IAS, he's not really a big coach. Build your CV well and then claim the rights. Not now, he's a fucking nobody. We, we they hear say um, rumors about say they want to send uh, Sancho go on loan from the loan worker, you like to let him go. Now, the best solution. To the whole situation be that. One well, of the best solutions so that um, you don't go the obvious, you don't go scatter the dressing room, patak patak. Mm. We don't get players where you don't come out. This that kind of situation before come out, go they do better. So the guys still need to play football. In, in career, would you talk? You get career outside Manchester United, make you come out to another club, go play. Well, the being treated solution. this way first, then stop until they use the first team facilities, then stop and I mean, that is, the coach. That, that is why because he, he, he fight mm. the club you hierarchy, so he got go. And you know, get you know, get good advices. You can't come out and talk bad about your whether you like him or not. You can't come out and do it. He know say on a good day before he do that, he know say he's done. He know so such your mind. I'm gonna pray. Sack but but the coach said more to come this way just for for the, talk talk see, for, 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 for the very first time guessing? for the very talk first time for the very first time this one talk like this way guessing small you understand Eric Ten Hag could see we even get to to detect like a you player you're fucking nobody now. you understand so the thing they pin some he gets some kind of footballer he gets he get, until you he reach that level, he's still the man to take Man United. He is. He is. I want him to stay there because he's failing. See, as he, <laughs> wait, as he did like this, as he did like this, eh? As as Manchester United did like this, eh? The biggest mistake what they go do right now. Mm, the not biggest to not to sack him right now. Keep him. The biggest mistake. He's the man for the job. What they go do right now? Not to say, well, he already get approach, and now he approach now in attitude. You know, if he change again, he approach players. Not only. Uh, um, Sam should be the person where you don't first attack now. Don't they start from Ronaldo? They come That's and you idea. understand. And rest they come. Mm. So in my style, be that the way Inter handle Ajax, Ajax be like European youth team. You understand? But this is not Manchester United, not main team. So now in style, until he gets to that in peak, they don't go fish. If they suck him now, he go, he go, he go st- yeah, scatter the plants. <laughs> And of course, yeah, uh, before we walk out, come out, uh, the man that they call Lady Hazard, don't already retire. Ah, Wonderful man. Me. They don't describe him as one of the best dribblers mm. for inside the Premier League. Where the Premier League don't ever see. If you drop your comment on top of that one. But then now uh, here we go. Sex, I want to talk about Hazard now. Uh, mm. We don't get time. <laughs> <laughs> now here we go. Tap oh, on why now? Football Mede Mede podcast. Make you join us next time as we get plenty more exciting yarn to talk about. You right want to talk about now? Football Mede Mede podcast. My name is Jovita AK. Don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, uh, share, and of course, uh, follow us on top all social media platforms. Football Republic NG. Jovita is my name, but if you don't call me the sexy Eric Joe. Thank you to Emmanuel and of course, Onokala Onyebuchi. My people are not welcome. They argue, they go. Oh. <laughs>